How do I maintain a healthy lifestyle while being a truck driver? Stick around and find out. What's up guys? So I'm here um, just finishing up my workout at the gym. Um, and I just wanted to, I guess, talk a little bit about it so you guys can kind of understand my lifestyle. Now with being in the truck all the time, um, it's not always easy to get a chance to work out, but I still try to work out a minimum of three days a week. Um, for me, in the winter, that means getting into the gym or maybe like a fitness center or something like that at a truck stop. In the summer, it's a little bit um, easier for me because I can work out anywhere. I can work out outside. I can work out almost anywhere I go between breaks, um, anytime honestly that I can stop and get um, move around which is really um, healthy especially for truckers because a lot of truck drivers they tend to sit down a lot and not really move around which causes different things could be from diabetes to other diseases um, which I'm not trying to get now even though I still try to do three days a week that's not always easy and you talking to somebody that went from um, being a bikini competitor and modeling to straight going to being over the road, um, driving several hours a day, not getting a chance to work out as much as I would like to. But that also goes into um, what you're eating, which I'm gonna cover that as well. Um, but I'll get to that um, in an, another time. Um, so what I came in and did today was some cardio, um, and I did a little bit of chest and back. Um, my husband is here too. He over there doing something. But, um, and I normally like to get some abs in. I like to come in and do 30 minutes of cardio and try to do um, a few sets of movements. Um, and I also, uh, what is it called? Like I do my my movements back to back superset. I couldn't think of it off the top of my head, but I like the superset, um, and that helps me to keep um, my heart pumping and keep moving, and actually to get more in um, when I in, take advantage of the time when I'm in the gym. So anyway, um, that is working out is what they call 20% of a healthy lifestyle, and the other 80% is your diet. So I'll cover that as well um, if you like this video please be sure to like share and subscribe and I definitely would love to read your comments so you can do that as well Um, we usually try to stay away from processed foods and stuff like that. My husband picked up this lasagna he wanted to try. <sighs> it's some veg vegetable lasagna. But anyway, we got some fruit in here. We got chicken. We eat a lot of chicken and um, fish. We're trying to eat more fish. Um, I don't really like tilapia, but it's really good for like thinning you out and stuff like that. Um, that's something I learned when I was doing my competition. Eggs. We got yogurt. We got a lot of vegetables um, and the only thing left that we have to get oh and protein you can see protein over there the only thing we have left to get is our um, complex carbs so um, we definitely try to uh, eat healthy which as possible on the road but um, again that's not always possible most of the time it is for us but I'm actually going to get into that so just hold tight. All right. So you guys saw the clip of us um, in the grocery store. So what I was trying to say about that is um, a lot of times we do meal prep, but when I was talking about it, sometimes not being possible. For example, I mean, when we went and did our um, trip up to Kansas City um, recently to get the truck fixed, we weren't able to meal prep and take food with us because we were doing so much running around and going, staying in the hotel and not being able to lug a, um, another bag with us. 
um, because we already had enough bags and you know, so that would just add it to what we already had. Um, when we were out there, we ate out a lot. And when we ate out, um, we ate out at several restaurants because it was what was available. Um, I guess, you know, so what we, we ate out at Denny's, Chili's, Red Robin. <laughs> um, and, you know, we couldn't really, really go food shopping because we really didn't have anywhere to put the food. So that was the situation we ended up spending over, we almost spent almost $300, which is expensive for, you know, a week when we just went to the grocery store and spent under $100. It saves us way more money and it's way healthier to eat that way. So um, I just wanted to go over that and kind of give you guys examples of uh, what we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis when it comes to our healthy lifestyle. Um, it's definitely a transition for us. Again, I went from, you know, working out two, doing two a days, doing my cardio and my um, my workouts on the second half of my day, my cardio in the morning, and eat, being able to meal prep and eat sitting at a desk, being able to monitor what I'm eating, how often I'm eating, um, what I'm drinking, um, which most times now we just drink water. But I just wanted to go over that and kind of give you guys a glimpse of what I deal with on a day-to-day. So hopefully um, this can help somebody else. If you have any questions for me or comments, you can leave that down below. Um, and be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. All right, everybody have a blessed day. Peace.